A slide from this mountain could kill millions of people in Europe and along America's eastern seaboard. Some eminent scientists warn that it's purely a matter of time till it happens. This is the volcanic island of La Palma, 700 miles off the northwest coast of Africa. It's a newborn baby island, barely past its four millionth birthday, created in the last stage of what geologists call the rock cycle. Volcanoes can form land in various ways. In Hawaii, lava gently pours from vents in the ground to build up almost horizontal layers of new rock. But elsewhere, as here on La Palma, more violent eruptions build steep-sided cones with surrounding layers of thick ash. Eruptions in the past 60 years have jolted this island to the core, creating a fault line, a crack you can walk through, along the island's central spine 6,000 feet above the Atlantic Ocean. On the western side of the fault, the land fell 13 feet down, then stopped. Geologist Bill McGuire and other scientists say gas pressures could build up in a future eruption and crack open the island along this fault line. They have traced the fault for at least nine miles along the island ridge. And they believe the fault is so long that when it cracks open, 500 billion tons of rock will slide thousands of feet down into the ocean. So it's going to go during a future eruption, there's no doubt about that. The problem is eruptions occur sometimes every 20 years, sometimes every 200 years. Maguire paints a terrifying fantasy picture of what anyone standing on the top of the landslide would see and hear. I don't know if anybody's heard the noise made by um, this amount of rock sliding against, against another great chunk of rock, but I, I, I always imagine it as if there are a million fingers scraping down a blackboard. The slide will reach a speed of more than 220 miles per hour. So you'd be hurtling down the slope of the volcano. It would start to break up into, into smaller pieces as it entered the ocean, but by then it would already, already have, have displaced something like half a mile of water, which would be towering above your head. And that would be probably the last thing you'd ever see. Spectacular way to die. Maguire believes the impact with the ocean will create a dome of water nearly 3,000 feet high. This is a mass of rock which is probably bigger than Manhattan Island. And when it collapses, it will generate ocean-wide tsunami, which will be at least as devastating as those that uh, struck the Indian Ocean. The vast amount of energy pumped into the ocean will create what one scientist has called a mega-tsunami. Tsunami waves racing out in all directions. Computer predictions suggest they could even travel 4,000 miles toward the eastern seaboard of the United States, losing some, but not all of their power along the way. Now that wave will travel all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to the east coast of North America. But the water itself won't move all the way across. The individual particles in the water will transmit the energy to one another. And we can demonstrate that quite nicely on a pool table here, where the energy uh, from this first ball I'm going to hit is transmitted through all the others to the last one. Just as energy moves from ball to ball, so the landslide energy transfers from water particle to water particle across the ocean. As the landslide's energy approaches the coast, it builds up into a massive wall of water. These deep reds and blues are computer predictions of waves 100 feet high and more. The level of destruction is, is difficult to quantify. It is going to be enormous, there's no doubt about that. If people are still in the cities when the collapse occurs, you may be considering millions of casualties.